is up guys i am african ninja 72 and how you guys doing today i am doing amazing and i am bringing to you a start of a new series i tried to do but uh the recording it was too long and it wouldn't process i got to the last hive uh solo and that's not what i'm gonna do this time if i go to the second if i go to the third area i'm gonna stop myself so here we go. I'm just gonna show you guys my loadout. This is uh, this is called heavy hitters. This is what I'm gonna call it. This is the heavy hitter um, setup for extinction mode. You, this is like a low level version of it. You can use the weapon specialist um, to up your damage and up everything. Your weapon swap faster and 50% more bullet damage is what you definitely need for this. The 44 magnum. If this this class isn't made for going to high places, but um, it's just made for fun. So if you're gonna want to have fun, just use the Magnum. So it has the highest damage. Now this is where it gets fun. You can um, change any ammo. You can use the armor piercing or explosive. But right now my favorite is the regular ammo because you only have to upgrade it once to get 70% max ammo, and you have to upgrade this four times. Then you would get armor but this is where you can get whatever you want really I prefer armor to get to higher rounds not rounds but you know what I mean because you get extra health and really on the last two you can do whatever I chose IMS and riot shield and these are the relics if you're interested I am prestige 2 level 20 on extinction um, so yeah let's get this thing started I'm not gonna go past uh, 15 minutes, so hope you guys enjoy this one. I have a different one. I try to do all the time. I can't do it. It's uh, explosives, really, and it's hard to do. You have to get the engineer and upgrade him all the way. So I hope you guys enjoy the series. This is really fun. I love extinction. Um, so yeah, and a little tip in the starting area in one of the corners usually up here is a search place you usually get something uh, I usually get a flare or this so flam and you carry this over here and put it on don't take any damage to remember remember to always do the challenges always 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 and right here when the first one gets on the drill you don't have to kill him because he can't destroy it before the end of the end of the thing. See, I might die here because it's just, just a fun, um, fun class setup. It's not meant to go to high rounds or anything. High hives, if you want to call it. See, he's been on there the entire time and it did not destroy that, so you're good. And always remember, you don't have to upgrade as soon as you get it because um, it's not that important. So I'm going to upgrade ammo first. That's what I always do. And I'm going to upgrade it one more, then I'm going to start upgrading my weapon specialist to get more damage, is what I really definitely need. And if you're that kind of person, you can search for uh, search spots um, if you want. And for this challenge, shoot the alien one time and then start knifing, which I will show you. It's easiest to get them on the drill, but you don't have to. Start knifing them. And don't be scared to throw down some ammo or waste some money and throw down some uh, armor if you're starting to get injured. So here I am on the second hive. I have the magnum. I'm gonna. Not many people do videos on Extinction. Uh, not many people play Extinction, so I'm going to be putting out a bunch of videos on Extinction Mode, DLCs on Extinction Mode, uh, different class loadouts, setups, the best team setup you can use. Um, I've beaten Extinction Mode one time because I usually mess around. My friends mess around when we play it. I beat it with two people in 30 minutes. 
which was pretty good. And always note that when you play solo, don't go to custom match, press solo and go to solo. Because you get extra revive, like uh, self revives every time you beat a barrier hive. You get one, one extra. This is a live commentary, by the way. So, yeah, I'm just going to be talking and playing and going. Oh, and don't be scared. Like, if you're really about to die and you have to fire off a few shots, then don't worry about it on this challenge. You just really need to do them because you get an extra skill point every time you do the challenges, which is good. There we go. Um, one shot, one kill. There we go. Knife. Let's do this. I saw that search spot, so I'm going to put this down and grab that over here. Propane tanks, really? Perfect. Plenty of propane tanks. Oh, wow. You see that? I blew up the propane tank really far away. That was awesome. And let, like, note it that the fire that the propane tank makes, uh, you can kill them like that with the fire. If they run through it, then it counts. Um, so, just, if anything, just throw down a propane tank right at the um, drill, and that'll work. And there's a certain gun you can use for this. You can either use the shotgun over there, or you can use the uh, MR28 marksman rifle, which is what my setup for this class is. You can change it however you like, depending on your play style, depending on whatever. I have the riot shield because I like to run around. I like to put it on my back. You can not upgrade your ammo that much if you're that kind of player. Uh, watch me go down right here, seriously. See? I'm going to throw down some armor, and it gives me a little bit of armor right below my health. A little bit, but just enough. See, this isn't the easiest class to use. This is more for, uh, like, uh, what is it? How would you say? Intermediate players to advanced players to use this class setup. Because it's not the easiest thing to use. Now what? I want to upgrade that faster reloading, but I need one more skill point. So we will do the challenge. We're going for the drill right now. Sorry if my voice sounds monotone. That's just how... That's how my voice is. Sorry about it. If you don't like it, you can click off. If you do like it, then listen to it and do whatever you want to. I don't care. Get away from me, man. While prone. See this challenge? You lay down, and you can put down an IMS. And it counts as laying down kills. It won't work for a sentry gun, though. I've tried the sentry gun. And the Sierra Sentry Gun doesn't hurt you. And if you want, you can buy uh, your right shield, put it on your back, and then lay down. And it really helps you. Um, so, yeah. Um. Yeah, I almost done this challenge. Sorry, somebody walked in. Don't know why. Now I will do faster reloading. And this is where it gets easier.
like I said, you can make any modifications or change whatever type like a player you are. Um, if you're more defensive, you can have the mortars and whenever they get all up on you, use it. If you're more of a gun type player, you can use the magnum. But the main type, the main setup for this is one shot, one kill is what this setup is really about. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get the main gun for this setup. It is the MR28. And this is really a one shot to most, most things. Uh, not the, the, the scouts, the little scouts, these guys. It's a one shot, it's a one shot to the seekers. The red ones that explode. Um, it doesn't shoot that fast though. And you guys saw where you can purchase that over there for I think it's 2000 And if you didn't know there's an easter egg up here. I never can do it. You have to shoot the LOL. But I can't. I don't know how to do it. I can't. I'm just useless. I need some ammo. Sorry about that weird noise. I don't know what that was. Um, I'm trying to look for a search spot so I can get a red dot. But not going to happen. See, you can shoot the hive and lower the health of it. A really good amount. Especially with this setup, if you have weapon specialists all the way upgraded, you can do some major damage to this hive. And a tip, if you hate the barrier hives as much as I do, um, to easily take it down, if you have two, two or, or even yourself, get the portable minigun turret, uh, upgrade it all the way. And right before a barrier hive, place it down and then start shooting at it with it. And it will really, really easily take it down. Okay, this video is coming to really close to being 15 minutes, so I'm going to stop it pretty soon because you guys get the idea uh, of how to do this. This has been the heavies, heavy hitters uh, setup. I didn't really get the heavy part because I haven't upgraded weapon specialist all the way. Like I said, intermediate to advanced players can use this because it's kind of kind of hard to use. Not the easiest of things to use. I'll use this flare just for just for the lols because I don't care knife one shot one shot I'm just gonna get rid of this You may or may not be able to do damage to it uh, by shooting it, but it definitely feels like you're doing damage. So this has been the Heavy Hitters setup, and I have been up at near 72. If you liked it, rate, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, you can leave. I don't care. And I will see you guys in the next video.